Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today's uh, Rainton virtual sessions. Today's topic we have secure remote access with Entrust and Intelitrust. The session will be delivered by Mr. Ashraf. During the session, if you have any questions, we request you to please type them in the Q&A tab and they will be answered towards the end of the session. Thank you so much. Ashraf, over to you, please. Thank you so much, Anakya. OK, good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ashraf Mujawar. I'm a pre-sales engineer from Reddington. Today, uh, I would like to present a very specific talk, topic to the current situation, you know, where everybody is uh, forced to work from home. They are accessing all their specific companies' resources uh, from different kind of mechanisms. Specifically, uh, mainly popular is a VPN. And of course, uh, we since everybody is working from home, it is very important that we should be providing the access, I would say the uh, remote access securely. Uh, this is the topic is today's, uh, uh, you know, the virtual session which we have to just to give you the uh, better understanding about even the product and as well as how you can actually, if you are a customer, how can you make a use of the solution? And if you are a partner, of course, how can you go and pitch the solution to the cu uh, customers, right? The product which we are going to talk about is Entrust IntelliTrust, okay? So uh, we're going to talk about specific on the product. And of course, if you have any specific questions, you can write down in the q and And then after the presentation, I am more than happy to take up your questions. Let's talk about a company overview a little bit uh, uh, quickly. You know, it's if you talk about a company, yes, we we are there in in the organization. Uh, we are there in the uh, industry from long period of time. Founded in 1969, you would say. Uh, we provide a multiple solution from the authentication perspective. We have more than 2,000 plus employees all over the world. We are spread across to the more than 150 countries. And of course, uh, revenue-wise, of course, the, the numbers are higher. Okay, a little bit older slides. I do not have the current slides on the revenues, but of course, we are we are doing much better uh, at the uh, year by year. We are completely an innovator in the trusted identity and and the secure payment technologies. This is what our tagline talks about from the company. We have a multiple customer base. You can see in a different different. Uh, uh, sectors. Uh, if you talk about finance, you talk about telcos, you got talk about e-governments, you talk about pharmaceuticals, petroleums. We have a customers, happy customers, I would say, who's using our different solutions. So from the interest data card perspective, we provide a multiple solutions, but we are going to talk about a specific solution today. Before I start uh, presenting my solution, I just wanted to go on a very limited basic and try to understand a very uh, 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 basic uh, understanding about what exactly the solution is based upon, okay? So of course, uh, we are the authentication, uh, uh, you know, solution. Uh, what do you mean by that? Of course, we secure the identity of the users, okay? And if you talk about what is the authentication means is, it is a process, of course, of determining if someone or something, he is who they claim to be. Okay, so the, it's pretty much expl uh, well explained statements about authentication, one of the best definition as you can find out. And of course, uh, how do we do it? We, in the digital world, we do this authenticate using the digital identities. This is what exactly we're gonna talk about it. A very specific topic, uh, uh, how can you secure the authentication and how can how can you achieve the authentication is it's one of the very famous topic which we which uh, which everybody talks about today is two factor authentication solution so let's understand what is two factor authentication solution is of course it's an authentication process where two of three recognized factors are used to identify a user why it is important to have a two factor authentication because of course the first the only on only single factor authentication is not enough you know there is a lot of uh, uh, attacks is happening uh, all over the world where they specifically look to find out the identity of the person and and if there is only a single factor in order to you know uh, uh, have access to your critical systems 
this is where the problem starts. Once that specific identity got compromised, you will be completely exposed uh, for any kind of attack, right? So let's understand what is two-factor authentication solution. It is something which you know, something which you have. These are the two following components what we follow from the two-factor authentication. So first factor is something which you know, okay, which can be a password, can be a passcode, maybe a QA, maybe a passphrase. Okay, that is where the first factor authentication completed. Second factor authentication is something which you have. You can have something called a smart card, okay, OTP, mobile phone, grid card, display cards. With the help of these two, when you achieve the help to uh, these two most popularly the passwords plus tokens, you know, you will be able to achieve the two-factor authentication. So understand in a simple terms, when I have a username and passwords, you know, uh, uh, it, it can it can it is a possibility that it get compromised. But when I have a username, password, and a token, then attacker needs to uh, spend a little time uh, to figure it out. How can he? Uh, bypass the authentication mechanism. So if you talk about something which you have, we have a different kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, mechanisms we support, a different kind of uh, authentication types we support. It's a one-time password, OTP, which is very popular. We can have the smart card kind of uh, look where you can press the button and get the one-time password for it. You can have a hardware tokens, okay? You can you can have a push notifications using the mobile phones. So even you don't have to carry any physical things. You are, all the users today have of smartphones. They can use their mobile phones to become you know their own identities. You can have the grid cards, which is a very uh, 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 you know used used from long times. You can have a certificate-based authentication, which are claimed to be more secure. So even your ATMs, when you, when you put your cards, you know, to the machines, those your uh, your uh, ATM cards, your credit cards, everything have a certificate inside. This is where we basically identify the identity of the person. So yeah, so we are talk about a couple of factors like something which you know, something which you have, and of course, when something you, which you have, for example, mainly a mobile phone. On from the mobile phone also, there's something which, you know, uh, uh, you need to also have add one more factor to even that because even you have to now say, uh, secure your uh, 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 second factor, you know, like your mobile phone or something. This is where we add another part, which is like something you are, you know. So even, even when you have the uh, specific token stored on your mobile phone and when you try to unlock that mobile phone, then also you should be using your own fingerprint, your voice recognitions, iris, uh, uh, behavior based analysis, right? Based on which you should be able to follow the or, or complete that authentication process. With that, I would like to introduce to you uh, IntelliTrust product from Entrust Data Card. I hope you can see the product name. It's called Entrust Data Card, it's the company, and the solution which we have is the IntelliTrust Zero Trust Intelligence Authentication, which we provide from IntelliTrust. Why IntelliTrust? It's a completely cloud-based multi-factor authentication solution. So you don't have to uh, invest the money on keeping the servers on-premise. It's completely cloud-based, you know, uh, completely managed by Entrust. Uh, we are claimed to be a number one in overall leaders by the Copenhagen Calls reports of 2019. It is an authentication report, uh, which very prestigious organization who, who, who named our a solution as the number one leader in the authentication type of it. We provide you a couple of features like a password less access with the help of a single sign on capabilities. Of course, it's a very easy to deploy. Deployment is, is the most important part when you, when you try to enroll the application to the two-factor authentication is one of the easiest you will see in the market. Uh, management wise, it's a very simple, good, uh, all the options in front of a screen and it's easy to navigate. Uh, you can you can use it with a single platform. So there is only single platform, so it provides you the capabilities of accessing it. 
let's go and quickly talk about what what exactly that interest data card trusted identity assurance platform provides you so of course we basically helps you to secure access because we're talking about the authentication mechanism here we also help you to secure the transactions and of course we also sign the transactions so there are different different uh, uh, you know uh, uh, mechanisms what we provide from when when you do a certain kind of transaction in an organizations so what exactly uh, from the uh, uh, if you talk about establishing trust and transaction and maintaining the trust there are three modules you know uh, uh, three three modes if you talk about it what how how do we achieve it of course we trust the user we trust the device of course we provision the credentials we transact it using the secure access from secure transactions and of course we also maintain the trust by using the uh, uh, monitoring of a user behavior the session activities and go on so there are different use cases which we'll talk about in further slides uh, if you talk about the integration wise unfortunately i do not have a slide but yes, we do a wide variety of integration with the enterprise application and enterprise uh, uh, resources. We have a, 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 wide, a wide variety of ecosystem we supported with Entrust. So if you talk about certain use cases, you know, just to provide a higher security with this, uh, you, can, you can secure your Windows logins, Mac logins, uh, uh, with Entrust with, uh, uh, to factor authentication solution. Of course, the most important part we are talking about is the VPN, SaaS web portals. Of course, you can do the verification and digitally style the transactions. And of course, you also have the uh, 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 smart cards, which helps you to give the access even to your physical doors and physical accesses to your organizations, right? So we do the different mechanisms, like capability-wise. It's a, we have a proximity login, so you can you can use your mobile phone as a smart card. Uh, we provide a single sign-on, a next generation single sign-on, which basically helps uh, you to log in once and then you will be able to access all the applications. Okay, so it's a single sign-on capabilities. We support the broadest range of authenticators. Uh, we support OTP and PKI certificates. Uh, we also support digital, uh, digital and the physical access as we talked about it and the EMM integrations. Uh, if you talk about onboarding uh, users and devices perspective, it's something which is which very easy, which we talks about it. Uh, customer and partner onboarding, you know, new employee onboarding, new mobile device onboarding, trust elevations. This is the use cases which we do achieve it. And of course, uh, it's something which is which all achieved using the mobile devices, of course. So uh, we do have the different capabilities over to it. And of course, uh, uh, we protect the employees' errors, detect internal fraud, and mitigate the sophisticated attack vectors. So, how do we do it? So, we have a, we have a different uh, 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 you know capabilities of it. We do a predictive analysis uh, of, uh, with with our engine, which we, we try to we try to understand uh, uh, you know uh, different factors when when the authentication happens, maybe from the geo locations, maybe from the device fingerprinting, the user behavior, HTTP traffic analysis multiple things what we do from the predictive analysis and we basically gives you the capabilities of giving them more protections against the advanced threats so if a user wants to log in we can always identify the locations uh, uh, using the predictive analysis uh, engine which we have the algorithm what we do and based on which the access will be allowed or challenged or blocked I also want to introduce to you one more product uh, which can works very well with the in, in, IntelliJ Trust Authentication Service. It's called SMS Passcode. If you talk about a specific key differentiators, yes, uh, 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 it's, a, it's a leading MFA user experience which basically give it to you. It also gives you the proactive, the password reset uh, 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 capabilities and enterprise class security and the success measures will also be taken against it, okay? So uh, SMS passcode is something which is which is which very interesting solution which really helps the users to log into a devices using the passwords and the OTPs received over the SMSs wherever wherever they go you know uh, uh, so wherever they go and basically they want to log into their applications this is something which is which which uh, uh, gives a very good experience to the user because everybody have their mobile phones right where it's, it's running with the sim cards of course you can receive an sms 
uh, wherever you, you go go to that specific location and then you can you'll be able to log in with the first factor as well as the, the factor the good part about it is we we never send any kind of uh, we don't need to have any sms gateways you know it's it's something which we do it and of course uh, uh, what we do from the sms passcode perspective is when as soon as you enter the first factor authentication then only the request goes and generated a unique uh, uh, OTP for that specific session or uh, uh, for that specific session and then it will be sent it to the user the user can law authenticate to that we also do the adaptive authentication where we try to learn where the request is coming where the user is trying to authenticate and based on the multiple parameters like a geolocations like uh, what what IP address is trying to see which location which country is trying to uh, achieve all the parameters when you set up in the policies when a user is going to the suspicious countries or the countries which you do not want a user should be logging from you can completely restrict the access from that there's one more use case where the, you know whenever whenever you go on a holiday user employees go on holiday when they come back there's a there's a bigger problem that they did not remember uh, remember the passwords and then they, then when you when they want to reset the passwords it becomes a very big challenge like they they have to request to the help desk help desk has to receive, receive the calls ticket has to be reached and then basically the password reset uh, the users try to do the password retest, uh, resets where he try to uh, where he wants to try a multiple uh, uh, he, he should be trying a multiple password because a pa password has to be matched with a certain uh, 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 you know uh, the password complexities and and this is where it, it, it irritates a uh, uh, employees a lot you know so we provide a proactive password reset uh, uh, as soon as they think you know uh, uh, the password is something which they don't remember it uh, there will be a pop-up message come that do you, do you want to reset the password you can just say oh yes i want to reset the password he will receive an otp he will he will he will he will with the, with the link where he will just type a new password type a otp and his password got reset it as simple as that so we even control that mechanisms as well if you talk about a deployment intellitrust is completely from the uh, cloud deployment which we are talking about it and of course we can also have the hybrid kind of deployment as well of course uh, uh, the, so you, you can see the IntelliTrust, you know, uh, will be on a cloud, and of course uh, you can you can have SMS gateways uh, to do the authentication. Let me let me give, take you to the certain authentication use cases. So uh, one of the popular use cases, you know, uh, which which today which you every uh, every customer uh, is looking for is basically when they are giving the access. Uh, you know, to the to their employees who's working from home over a VPN, they need to secure the identities of that, right? So whenever a JSMIT logs in, you know, which as an example here, whenever they try to log into the VPN client using his first factor authentication, what what we expect that there should be, you know, uh, a token where should be we should be entering the token, and then only the authentication should be happening, right? So uh, this is something. <coughs> excuse me. This is something which which you can achieve using the internet and it's very easy to onboard it's it's just add the applications and make sure that your application is reachable and of course uh, 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 once uh, uh, once the jsmith enter the username and password which he knows right uh, 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 he will he will he will he will be asked to enter the otp response for it he can just open his mobile phone enter the otp response as, and he's now been authenticated to the company's profile vpn profile you can also have the push notification instead of uh, he is typing is is opening the mobile phone and typing the otp he will get a push notification he will just have to say confirm or deny if if he feels you know there is someone uh, 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 someone steal the password and try to log in with his credential to the vpn the the, the official vpn profile you know uh, he will receive a pop notification and if he if he is the one who has initiated this of course he will go ahead and confirm it or he have an option to deny the request. If he confirms it, he gets authenticated. If to deny it, the uh, the logs get generated and 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 the the, the request get denied. Uh, a request denied page will come on the user or the attacker who's trying to log into that specific profile. Of course, uh, we also provide a single sign-on. So uh, we, when you, when you log into their portals, you know uh, you just have to enter the username 
and then uh, push notification come to your mobile phone you just have to confirm your identity you just say confirm as soon as you confirm you will be able to log into your multiple application whether those are on premise or those are in the cloud as well so it is a kind of single sign on capability which you get from the same same, same platform as well we can also have the windows based authentication you can have you can use a username and password as a first factor authentication and enter the token which is which is uh, uh, you can use it as your mobile token same 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 mechanism you will receive a notification you just say confirm and you basically log in inside or you just uh, uh, just enter the otp okay which you can use uh, grid cards as well you can use uh, uh, physical tokens and of course mobile soft tokens as well anyways as soon as you enter it you will be authenticated inside the windows machine we also provide the same mechanism from the proximity login so here you can you can have this your smart cards you know uh, which is connected to your machines whenever you want to log in you just tap your smart cards you can you can even print your company's names you, you can print your photos to it so you can easily identify the person's identity you can just tap into that specific smart cards in order to log into the windows machines or since everybody is using the mobile phone, if a company is providing a mobile phone, you know, or it's a BYOD, whatever it is, you can you can use your even the mobile becomes your identity, which connects, which use the make make the use of a certain technologies like Bluetooth. And uh, whenever whenever you want to log into that specific Windows machine, you just need to uh, on your smart card and because of a Bluetooth connectivity with, on, on between the Windows and the mobile phone, it's authenticate based on the certificate and basically allows you to log in. Uh, uh, log, log into the Windows machine. Of course, to use this feature, uh, you need to use uh, uh, the Entrust PKI, you know, uh, uh, in order to you know in order to log in uh, uh, with this mechanism. Same thing happened for your customer portal or HR portals. So you log in. It it asks you for the grid tokens. You enter the grid tokens, and of course. Uh, uh, you, that grid token can you can just print it as a soft copy and send it to them, or you can have your uh, the hard, you know uh, uh, the smart cards, you know the the, the hard the specific name uh, cards where you can you can print those grid cards on, on behind that specific uh, card and then you can give it to them. So there are many use cases, but we use a single platform to achieve it. Okay. So uh, with the single platform, you're able to achieve all, all, the, all the use cases, like as we see the, from the VPN accessing, the SaaS, the on-premise application accessing, workstation VDA login, HR portals, uh, uh, physical IDs, and customer portals and partner portals. So uh, you can, if, if, uh, if your own workers, the working workers who wants to work from outside, uh, or the frontline workers, you know, the external users, everything can make the use of a single platform to log into the resources which you want to achieve to them. So offerings, yes, we offer uh, SaaS-based offerings. So uh, we uh, purposely built a SaaS, SaaS product, okay? Uh, 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 it, it's on AWS public cloud. It's a multi-tenant which we provide. We have a business models which we license based on per users and per transactions. And of course, uh, 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 reputation for security and identity as well achieved it so if you want uh, you can always try our solution uh, with this situation if you want to see 30 days we, we can give it to you uh, 30 days you just out on board your application use it for 30 days free of cost you know and uh, uh, and, and and of course uh, you can you can uh, uh, if, if you have any uh, uh, you know uh, if you need any help you can always contact us in order to set up the environment for you so uh, just just go to the Enter a site, just say 30 days free trial, and, and there is a there's there's a link where you can just click and then you can register yourself and get our 30 days Intel Trust portal from it. So uh, this ends my presentation. Of course, uh, if you have any specific questions, uh, you can you can you can write it down in front of a Q and A tab. There is no more further questions, so I would I would like to uh, 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 say thanks to everyone for joining for today's session. And of course, uh, if you have any further questions, you can always get back to me. I'm going to broadcast this message, you know, which which has my email address. And of course, if, if you need to understand more of a technology, if you need, to, if you are a customer, if you want to understand more of technology, I'm more than happy to help. If you're a partner, you want to take me to the specific customers to, uh, you know, uh, 
uh, understand, uh, make them understand the technology. We, of course, we can, we can, uh, more, we are more than happy to help you guys.